Oh, I broke my synthetic winch line on the trail. What do I do? Hey everyone, I'm Tammy, aka Jeep Mama, and have you ever broken your synthetic winch line on the trail and you needed to get back off the trail, but you didn't know what to do? Well, I'm here to show you this cool little tool from Factor 55. It's called a Fast Fid. And I'm gonna share it with you here in just a second. But first I'm gonna tell you that synthetic winch line is probably a more safer winch line than cable, than steel cable. However, it's more prone to damage and you could break it easily on the trail after many uses, lots of um, stress on the line, but I'm gonna show you an easy, fast fix so you can get yourself back off the trail if your winch line breaks. So this is a Factor 55 Fast Fit, and it's two little pieces. This is an aluminum piece. To me, it looks like a knitting needle, and it has like a little ruler on it, and it gives you berry length, how much you should bury the rope into the rope. And this is a 3 8 inch synthetic line, so I need to bury the rope 20 to 27 inches. So this piece is like a construction tool where they pull cable through walls. So this is a threaded end and you just screw them together. And then you have your fast fit. So then your next step, this is what the end of the cable was into and it broke so we have we threw away the little other part and we're going to reattach it into the end of the winch line so hopefully i can do that because it's kind of frayed a little you got to keep the end tight to get it in because this rope is kind of like one of those chinese finger puzzles so you got to keep this part really tight and you just keep pushing it through. Once you get this synthetic rope into your eyelet, that's what I call it, this is what your hook attaches to. This is the end of the winch line. We measured out with the little measuring device 24 inches, which is our 3 8 inch line. Next we're going to get the rope into this part of the tool. So we're gonna expand it. You can push it down, see? This is just like those Chinese finger puzzles. So just don't put your finger in there because that would hurt really bad. So we're gonna expand it. I'm gonna hold it here with one hand. I'm gonna push this in and then hold this end and then pull it tight and see how it's in there. I probably could have got it in a little bit more, but I'm hoping this will work. So then the next step is we're gonna start knitting. I'm gonna show you how to knit a synthetic rope blanket. Kidding. <laughs> My home ec class from eighth grade is really helping here. We're gonna go in the center of the synthetic line. I'm gonna try to get it in the center. Pull it through, just like your sewing and you pull it through this way and then you're going to pick another spot it's like 101 Dalmatians and pull it through again And you're just gonna to wanna to take your time because you don't wanna do this too fast because you want it to hold really well. But you see how I came in one side. So what I'm gonna do is pull this as tight as I can get it. And then I'm gonna pull this other side tight. So you can see it, they're both really tight. 
Now these ends are pulled tight. Remember how I told you this is kind of like a Chinese finger puzzle? You want to like push in the line and you take the aluminum fast fit and you stick it in the center of it. And you're just going to want to keep expanding it and just keep pushing the needle in the center. And you just take your time, keep pushing it through and expanding it, but just make sure that the needle doesn't pop out of the rope because you don't want to do that quite yet. And you just keep pushing it through. And sometimes it's easier to pull this end and then just keep pushing it pushing it through. So when you're pulling this rope through, you got to keep the end here at the end larger. So what you can do is you just keep pushing it down like this and it, it'll pull it through. So you get it big on this side and then you just pull it down and you see how it's coming up. So open the end of the rope where the aluminum rod is and then you just pull it down and you see how it comes through. Look at that. Once you figure that out, it becomes so easier. You don't force it. It's kind of amazing how it does that. So, we have the end all the way in, and now we're gonna wanna pull this end tight. Once you have all the rope in, you're gonna find the tip of your the fast fit and pull it out. We might have pulled it out a little too soon. There it is. So then, just like the Chinese finger puzzle, you push this in, hold on to it, and pull your rope out. Mine's kind of stuck in there a little bit. Set this down. And now, so you pull it out, and now the rope's gonna suck back into itself. But we're gonna pull it. Now we have a solid winch line again. Factor 55, fast fit, link in the description below. So if you happen to break your winch line and you don't have a fast fit, another way I'm told that you could do this is by using a pen or if you have a punch tool and duct tape, you just poke this into your winch line and then duct tape it and then this will be your needle and the duct taped winch line will be like your Chinese finger puzzle. And you can just do it that way. So another way to do fix your synthetic winch line. By the way, Factor 55 did not sponsor this video. I purchased this tool with my own money. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix your winch line when it breaks closer to the drum. For more Jeep Life with Jeep Mama, head over to my blog at jeepmama.com.